you know, out of every show that I expected to come back to for videos, this is the show I expected to talk about the least. Sounds of Silence. So this episode begins with the map sending Applejack and Fluttershy on a quest for the second time. This is the first time the map has teamed up the same ponies for a second quest! It looks like this one might be a little tricky. You're going to the Peaks of Peril. Ah, oh, it's just a name. It doesn't mean anything. So Fluttershy tries to get out of going because of the Nerex. Oh, maybe we should go instead of me, Twilight. After the intro, we see the two get off a train in the middle of nowhere. Applejack has to reassure Fluttershy because she's afraid, and some guy ends up freaking them out. I'm not used to seeing any pony taking the train to the end of the line. The last stop! We get the picture. Nothing but uncharted terrain and wild beasts out that way. <laughs> this guy loves his job, and I respect that. <laughs> so we see Applejack voyage through the wilderness to find the Peaks of Peril until she realizes Fluttershy isn't with her. Applejack then travels back to the start where she finds Fluttershy helping some woodland animals. Fluttershy? What are you doing? We're on a friendship quest, remember? Yes, but actually... Come on! But what I found out is... That... Now we gotta get up that peak! But elbow grease, we can make it up half... Applejack! Can you please listen to me? Oh look, character development is stuck. She really did become a better character after season 4, didn't she? Let me handle this. Rainbow Dash, your winter is going to be petless. So the two take the back way up the mountain where they come across the Kirin village. I just want to stop and say that I love the way this village is designed with everything built into the world instead of freestanding structures like most of the rest of the show. Outside of the dragons who live in caves and maybe the changelings after they're reformed, the characters just live in buildings and tents that aren't built into the world. It's a nice touch that I just wanted to point out. So the Kirin come out and that is an amazing design. Seriously, I love it. It's the most unique design since Gummy Deer. But this one actually looks good. So Applejack and Fluttershy try to make first contact, but the Kirin don't respond. Not because they don't understand, but because they can't speak. Do. You. Understand. Ponish. But you don't speak? Don't. Or won't. Applejack tries to get them to speak, and the reactions of the Kirin are priceless. <laughs> Beautiful day, ain't it? Knock, knock. Now you say, who's there? Don't any of y'all talk? So the two split up and Applejack goes into the woods to find a cure in the speaks. And watch out for Nerex! Out in the woods, Applejack meets Autumn Blaze, and I'm going to sum up her story and the backstory of the Kieran because it's in song. Can't you just say something? <laughs> gotcha! But that was too good. Oh, you don't know how much I miss jokes. Hi, Larity. Am I pronouncing that right? Hi, I'm Autumn Blaze. One day the Kieran got into a fight, uh, and when they get mad, they end up turning into the Nerek and destroy the town. Their leader made anyone take a vow of silence via magic water. Later, Autumn grew bored and found a cure. She tried to get her village to follow her, but they cast her out and now she lives on her own as an outcast. Now she's searching for more of the cure to save her village. <gasps> I bet this here's the problem that Fluttershy and I came to help y'all with. Who's Fluttershy? Oh, did you name your shadow? Mine's called Silhouette Gloom of the Sundown Lands. That is now what my shadow is called as well. Right. So Applejack goes to talk to Fluttershy and get Autumn's village to let her back in. You know, between you and me, I'm not sure she's going to convince them. But I hope she does. Fluttershy and Applejack end up fighting over what the best solution is, and the Kirin try and force them into this dream of silence. Put them down! The New York design is awesome. So Applejack, Fluttershy, and Autumn convince the Kirin to start talking again, and the animals from the beginning help out because they have the flowers needed. Autumn Blaze is a great character. The people behind this show tended to write one type of character over and over again. So there's a lot of Pinkie Pie-esque characters. In Season 8, they introduced two. One of them is uh, one of the students in Twilight School, and the other is Autumn. They might have added more, but I remember these two because the wacky personality is there for a reason instead of being there to be there. 
And for Autumn, there's just something so genuine about her that makes her so immediately likable and hilarious. Hi, Larity. Am I pronouncing that right? So the reason why I wanted to talk about this episode is because I love the moral of this episode. I spent a lot of time when I was younger very angry, and I didn't know how to control my anger very well. Years later, I did pick up tricks to control it better, and while I can relapse when I'm stressed, I do tend to do better now not losing control. This is just a great moral for people of all ages. It's okay to be angry as long as you don't lose control. I'm giving this episode a 9 out of 10 because of its great moral, fun new characters, and those awesome designs. Hey guys, just a quick reminder, if you want to support this channel, the best way is to subscribe and like the video. Also, if you want to see me review something, leave your suggestions in the comments below. And if you want to see each episode early, I have a Patreon, and it's only $1 a month to get everything early. Thanks for watching.